I've always had a fascination with people. I guess that's why I became an actress. I just love watching people. Sometimes when I look out and I see all the lights in the horizon of all the apartments and I'm wondering about the people. What are they doing? What are their lives like? Sometimes when I'm flying and I'm about ready to land at night and I look out at all the lights and I'm wondering, what is your life like? What are you doing tonight? It's amazing, isn't it? Look at all the lights. Millions of people out there doing something, making love, fighting, struggling at relationships, thinking about getting older. Hello, welcome back. This is Sandra Hart again with Life Over 60. For many, many years now, I have been doing three things that helps my face look younger. And you know when you meet someone, the first impression that you get is you see their face, their eyes, their skin, their smile. That is the very first impression that someone sees. So I'm going to explain three different things that I do to help my facial skin look a lot younger. First of all, believe it or not, you're going to say, wow, I don't use water on my to cleanse my skin very often. Sure, I shower and I swim and my face gets wet, but most of the time when I cleanse my skin, I use oils any type of good oil, jojoba oil, um, anything that you use uh, that will, marula oil, any type of oil that you use, coconut oil is good, anything that is an emollient and that you can massage into your skin and gently wipe off. That is what I have been doing for years and years because I feel that the oils are really good for my skin. Uh, it holds what the moisture in because I hydrate myself all day long. So I have internal hydration and that shows up in your skin. So it might shock you, but I really do not cleanse my face with water only once in a while. The second thing I do is I exfoliate. I get rid of all the dead skin cells. It's amazing how your skin, even at our age, over 50, over 60, how our skin does slough off dead skin cells. And when my skin starts looking dull, I know it's time to exfoliate. I exfoliate at least once a week. Sometimes I do a deep exfoliation like hyaluronic acid. Uh, I use ret a retinol product right over the counter to, uh, uh, to, uh, ex to exfoliate my skin. But I also use something else. At least once a week or once every other week. And again, you can find it in your kitchen. But this works really well and it leaves my skin smooth and ting tingling after I do it. I take about just a little under a teaspoon of baking soda and the same amount, a little under a teaspoon or a teaspoon, depending upon how much you want to use, of your favorite oil. You mix those two together in equal parts in a little dish, mix them nice and smooth, and then you put it on your skin just as though you were applying cream 
in a gentle motion and then just gently go around your skin with that. And you can feel it working. You really can feel the baking soda, the tiny little grains in the baking soda working. And I do that maybe for about one or two minutes. Then I wipe the product off with a soft tissue. Then I splash water on my face until all of the little tiny grains of baking soda. Now baking soda is really very fine, but you can still tell that there are tiny little grains there. I splash my face, or if it's I'm going to be taking a shower at night, I hop into the shower and I rinse it off my face. But afterwards, my face tingles. I can run my hand across my face and it feels so nice and smooth. It really does work. And you know what also baking soda does? Baking soda also lightens your skin. So if you want to use your oil and baking soda as a mask, you can leave it on longer and it will absorb and it will help lighten any discolorations you have in your skin. But I really, really love it. Then after I do that, I follow it with um, just a plain oil. And I really like my natural oil with the carrot seed and vitamin C all mixed together. But that is my routine. I very rarely ever cleanse my face with water. And something else that I do with baking soda, about twice a month, I brush my teeth with baking soda. I take a little bit of baking soda and just, just a tiny pinch of salt, mix it around, and I brush my teeth with that. Now, the salt uh, helps kill bacteria, and the baking soda really does cleanse your teeth, takes off the surface uh, gunk that has been there, <laughs> and it is pure and healthy, and it won't hurt your teeth. I read an article not too long ago about research that they've done on cadavers. And the people that they know that have been um, using whiteners on their teeth, and you know you can get those pen whiteners that you can apply every day or every other day. But people are going so crazy with these teeth whiteners that they are actually stripping the enamel off of their teeth. And you know, as we get older, our enamel just naturally is not as thick as it was when we were younger. So you, if you're over 50 or 60, you really have to be very careful about how often you use teeth whiteners, what kind you use, and you have to take care of that enamel because they actually said on some of the cadavers, the teeth actually crumbled in their hands. So beware. Uh, having a beautiful smile is so easy. You can use natural products, and if you have to whiten them, whiten them sparingly. Try not to use those chemical straighteners too often because you honestly can destroy the enamel uh, in your teeth. The third thing I do, and I know this may be kind of hard for all of you who sleep on your side and been sleeping on your side, for your whole life. But if you can, try to sleep on your back. Because think about it, when you are sleeping on your side for eight hours, however long you sleep, you are scrunching your face and, and making all of these marinette lines and wrinkles in your face that will not go away if you do it enough. If you sleep on one side of your face, say you sleep on your left side of your face, look in the mirror and see if you have more um, lines and wrinkles on that side of your face than you do the other side. I started sleeping full time on my back when I was in my early 40s because I had a radio frequency ablation and that's um, a procedure to kill some, to zap some extra nerve impulses in your heart that I was born with and it was causing me to have palpitations. And while I was in the hospital, I had to sleep on my back. And it was so uncomfortable because I kind of was a toss and turn sleeper to the left, to the right. But when I went home, I continued to sleep on my back. And I have slept on my back ever since. And actually, 
that does help you from having compression wrinkles in your face and also in your decolletage in your chest. When you sleep on your side, uh, you wrinkle, you wrinkle your chest also. So if you can try to sleep on your back, get a pillow that caresses your neck, that cradles your neck and makes it comfortable for you and so that you're not inclined to flip over. If you can't do it, uh, that's okay because getting a good night's sleep really is very pro-aging. It'll keep you young. But that's exactly what I do. And I know that uh, one of my daughters is a side sleeper and she was having so much trouble sleeping on her back. So I told her to get or to use her pillow that she uses when she flies. You know, the neck pillows that wrap around like this. Well, you can actually put that neck pillow on when you're in bed. And if you turn on your side, the pillow caresses your neck and prevents your face from actually touching the pillow. So if you can't sleep on your back, try using the airplane neck pillows to see if that helps you. And of course, sleep on a silk pillowcase because that keeps your hair in place. And like an old granny, I wear a, I wear a cap you know, on a black nightcap on my head. But but anyway, those are the three things that I do to try to take care of my skin because in my facial skin. Because actually, I, um, your face is out there all of the time. It's what everyone sees. So if you can just take, do three things in your daily life, it will help you have healthier skin, uh, will help you not put your skin in any stressful situation, and it will help you keep the moisture in your skin. Of course, you know, my number one thing is hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. But those three basic things, uh, use oils for your skin, uh, slough off your skin, get rid of all those dead cells at least once a week, and uh, brush your teeth with baking soda. Don't whiten them too often. And if you can, sleep on your back because it will help you a lot uh, from wrinkling. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget that even though something is free in life, it doesn't mean it can't help you. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to yourself and to someone else. And don't forget to share the love. Thank you. And if you would love to, I would like to have you subscribe. Just push the little button below. And if you want to be notified, just also push the bell. Take care and I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day.